Jeopardy. Here are today's contestants. A retired tax attorney from Washington, D.C., Raymond Kianza. A pastor from Hastings on the Hudson, New York, Emily Brown. And a returning champion, a music teacher from Aurora, Colorado, Kyle Jones, whose four days has winning total $83,601. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny. Here we go into the Jeopardy round. Now we take a look at the categories, starting off with first ladies. Yes. One syllable city sounds easy. Crossword clues in which the correct response will begin with the letter Q, followed by PSA mascots. Hey, what's that on your shelf? And finally, filmmakers from Mexico. That sounds a little tough. <laughs> All righty. Raymond, go ahead. Make a selection for us. Uh, let's go with first ladies for 200, please. Before she passed away in 2018, she told son Jeb she believed she was going to a beautiful place. Kyle? Who is Bush? Barbara Bush. That's right. First ladies, 400. Melania Trump, the first first lady born abroad since Louisa Adams, hails from this country next door to Croatia. Raymond. What is Slovenia? Yes. Uh, first Lady 600. In 2006, this former First Lady was ordained a deacon at a Baptist church in Plains, Georgia. Kyle. Who is Carter? Rosalind Carter, yes. First Lady 800. At 80, she was still a beloved member of Washington society when Matthew Brady made this daguerreotype of her. And that is Dolly Madison. Amazing, isn't it? Kyle? First Lady 1000. It was the occupation of Abigail Fillmore, the first first lady to hold a paying job after marriage. She was a school teacher, and a pretty good one. Kyle. One syllable cities, 200. As the old saying goes, this city wasn't built in a day. Kyle. What is Rome? Yes. Cities, 400. In 2016, a state of emergency was declared over lead contamination in this Michigan city's water. Kyle. What is Flint? Yeah. Cities 600. This city on the French Riviera has been hosting its famous film festival for over 70 years. Emily? What is can? Right. One syllable, 800. Answer. Daily Double. <laughs> you can risk up to 1,000. I'll do 1,000. Okay, here's the clue. Han Song and Gyeongsang are former names of this world capital. What is Seoul? Seoul is right. That's a one-syllable city. Right. Uh, uh, city is 1,000. A huge Reformation monument stands in this city where Martin Luther stood before the Diet in 1521. Kyle. What is Worms? Worms. Worms, yes. Uh, let's go to Crawford Clues Q200. Little game bird, five letters. Raymond? What is a quail? That's it. Let's stick with Q for 400. Nauseated, six letters. Emily? What is queasy? Right. Q, 600. Flavorful physics particle, five letters. At Kyle? What's a quark? Quark, right. Uh, crossword clues, 800. To guzzle, five letters. Kyle? What's quaff? Correct. Uh, crossword clues, 1,000. Astringent fruit, six letters. Emily? What is quince? Quince is right. Uh, PSA mascots, 200. Here are Vince and Larry, two of these three-word guys who helped America use seat belts. Raymond? What are crash test dummies? Yes. Uh, 400 are PSA mascots. This crime dog is hungry for justice. Raymond? Who is McGruff the crime dog? Yeah. PSA mascots were 600. Darren the Lion, Dare's mascot, wants you to say no to these. Emily. What are drugs? Good. Uh, 800. From one of this owl's songs, never be a dirty bird in the city or in the woods. Help keep America looking good. Raymond. Who is Woodsy Owl? Yes. PSA mascots, 1,000. Sparky, this dog breed, is the official mascot of the National Fire Protection Association. Kyle. What's a Dalmatian? You're right. Uh, what's that on your shelf? 200. 
You have a Star Wars version of this classic board game? Look, Hoth and Bespin are on either side of the jail space. Emily? What is Monopoly? Correct. Uh, shelf 400. How on earth did you get this ex-Lakers Oscar that he won for Deer Basketball? And how did Shaq not win for Kazam? Kyle? Who's Kobe Bryant? He's the one. What's that on your shelf? 600. Is that the actual flag that was raised in Joe Rosenthal's Pulitzer winning pick taken on February 23rd, 1945 at this place? Raymond? What is Iwo Jima? Yeah. Uh, 800 in that your shelf. A degree from this private university in New Orleans, founded as the Medical College of Louisiana in 1834. <sighs> Impressive. Raymond. What is Tulane University? You got it. Uh, 1,000 for shelf. A bobblehead of this chocolatier and philanthropist? Cool giveaway from a Lancaster Barnstormers game. Who is Milton Hershey? Hershey, Pennsylvania. Filmmakers 200. Sonora-born Bill Melendez directed A Boy Named Charlie Brown and voiced this four-footed character. Kyle. Who is Snoopy? Snoopy, right. Filmmakers 400. Actor Diego Luna stepped behind the camera to make a 2014 biopic of this United Farm Workers founder. Emily? Who is Chavez? Cesar Chavez, yes. Uh, 600, please. Alfonso Arau directed the adaptation of his wife's novel, Como Agua para Chocolate, this in English. Emily? What is like water for chocolate? Yes. 800. Emmanuel Lubetsky won Oscars in three straight years in cinematography, ending with this DiCaprio versus Bear film. Kyle. What is The Revenant? Right. One. And we won't get to that last clue, but once again, all three players in pretty good shape. Let's see what happens in Double Jeopardy. Kyle, here are the categories. Not your everyday words. That sounds tough. I got your book. Neon. The Letters of the Law. Tomb Raider. And finally, 90 songs for Olympic skaters. Start us. Uh, not your everyday words, 400. A bumper shoot is one of these. Mary Poppins made a memorable entrance using one. Emily? What is an umbrella? Yes. Words 800. Mix is a title that you can use when referring to someone when you don't know this about them. Kyle? What is their gender? Yeah. Everyday words 1200? Glabrous means this. If you have a glabrous dog, grooming will be a breeze. Kyle? What is non-shedding? No. Emily. What is hairless? Hairless, yes. 1,600 words. A wood pusher is a weak player of this game. Chess. Mm. Emily. Uh, words 2,000. Snickers knee refers to one of these. In Jabberwocky, one went snicker snack. Emily. What is a sword? A sword or a knife, correct. A uh, book, 400. Using the pen name Robert Markham, Kingsley Amos wrote the first James Bond story not penned by this man. Kyle. Was Fleming? Ian Fleming, yeah. Book 800? Completes the title of David Lagerkrantz's book that continued Stieg Larsson's series, The Girl in... What is the spider's web? Kyle, back to you. Book 1200. Known for the Andromeda strain, this late author had help from Richard Preston with 2011's Micro. Raymond. Who is Crichton? Michael Crichton, yeah. Uh, got your book, 1600. Prolific Brandon Sanderson put more on his plate, helping Robert Jordan finish the fantasy series, The Wheel of This. Kyle? What is time? Yes. Book 2000. Michael Peach, editor for this late Infinite Jest scribe, organized The Pale King into a 2011 work. Emily? Who is Wallace? David Foster Wallace, yeah. Uh, Neon 400. Neon lighting was introduced in France in 1910, and true neon signs are only of this color. Emily? What is red? Red is right. Uh, neon 800. This western U.S. city has a museum featuring a neon boneyard an outdoor exhibit of old signs dating back to the 1930s. Kyle. What is Las Vegas? Las Vegas is the place. Neon 1200? The first neon sign in this London circus advertised Bovril, a beef gloop the British love. 
Raymond? What is Piccadilly Circus? You are correct. Neon for 1600. George Benson reminded us in song that they say the neon lights are bright on this thoroughfare. Emily? What is Broadway? Yeah, Emily. Let's go back to neon for 2000. <laughs> A refrigerant 40 times more efficient than liquid helium, neon is often used in this process of freezing bodies. Kyle? What is cryogenics? Good. The letters of the law for 400. Helping everyone breathe easier when it was passed in 1970. CAA. Kyle. What is the Clean Air Act? That's it. Letters of the law, 800. Answer there is the first of the Daily Double. I'll wager 2,000. All righty, here's the clue. 1973 pro-animal legislation, ESA. What is the Endangered Species Act? That's it. <laughs> Raymond is impressed, and he's the attorney on the program today. Go again, Kyle. Letters of the Law 1200. Changing the curriculum in 2001, NCLB. Kyle. What is No Child Left Behind? Yeah. Letters of the Law 1600. A damn fine act from 1933, TVA. Raymond. What is the Tennessee Valley Act? No. Kyle. What is the Tennessee Valley Authority? Authority, that's it. Letters of the Law 2000. 1919 Killjoy Law Enforcing Prohibition, VA. That was the Volstead Act. Yeah? Uh, Tomb Raider 400. Looted from an Etruscan tomb, the Euphronius Crater was returned to this country in 2008. Kyle. What is Greece? No. Etruscan tomb, it was returned to Italy. Emily, back to you. Tomb Raider 800. In 1876, the Secret Service foiled a plot to remove this president's remains from his tomb in Springfield, Illinois. Emily? Who is Lincoln? Lincoln is right. Tomb Raider 1200. You have just uncovered the second daily double. 4,000. All right, here's the clue. 16th century knights tried to plunder this tomb in Halicarnassus, but it had already been looted. What is the tomb of Alexander the Great? No, what is the mausoleum of Halicarnassus? All right, there are still many clues on the board. Pick again. Uh, Tomb Raider, 1600. On February 17th, 2009, the centennial of Geronimo's death, his descendants sued this Yale secret society for taking his remains. Kyle. What is Skull and Bones? Yes. Tomb Raider, 2000? In the 1100s BC, robbing of royal tombs in this ancient Upper Egyptian capital was already a problem. Kyle. What is Memphis? No. Nope. Had to go for the other one. Thebes. Yeah. Uh, 90 songs, 400. The title of this biggest hit by House of Pain is too on point not to use. I'll jump around. Uh, songs, 800. Let EMF describe your incredible routine in a single word with this up-tempo 1991 hit. The things you say, you're this. Kyle. What is unbelievable? That's it. 1,200? Cover any falls with, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to keep me down. By this rhyming name band. Emily. What is Chumba Wumba? Yes. 1,600. The Goo Goo Dolls get to skating basics in a 1998 hit that says, I want to wake up where you are, so why don't you do this? Emily? What is slide? Slide, yes. And that takes you up to 12,000. Raymond, you're still in this with 4,200. We're going to Final Jeopardy. Today, the category is animal characters. I almost said animal crackers, but it's animal characters. Revealing the clue when we come back. Yes, it's animal characters, not animal crackers. Players, here's your clue. Items bought by this predator. Iron bird seed, an iron carrot, earthquake pills, and dehydrated boulders. 30 seconds. Good luck.
All right, we come to you first, Raymond. You had 4,200, and you wrote down your response very fast. Wiley Coyote, doesn't matter. We're not going to penalize you for the misspelling. You add 399. That takes you up to 4,599. Let's go to Emily Brown, 12,000, going into final. And she came up with Wild E. Coyote, correctly spelled, and adds 35.99. A solid position, but she's still not in the lead as we come to our champion, Kyle. He wrote down the correct response. He's going to remain champion. Did he earn a lot of money today? Oh, he did, yes. 24,001, and now a total of $107,602 for just five days. Yeah, breathe deep. We'll see him tomorrow. So long, everybody.